So we've always used a blanket approach of one size fits all for patients in the past. They will come in and have a standardised treatment and a proportion of those patients will do well, but we know that a significant number will fail because they haven't had the right treatment at the beginning of the pathway. So the idea of precision medicine is it is very much personalised care. You want to try and identify the patients who will do well on simple therapy, but you want to equally identify the patients that will fail that first stage before they fail so that you can put them on more personalised treatment that is most likely to work for the patient in front of you. So it's treating patients as individuals rather than trying to have a, a population approach to medicine. Well, we hope so. And that's one of the problems at the moment is that we don't have good reliable markers that predict success. And that's one of the fields where there's a lot of research going on at the moment so that we can actually practice personalised medicine. We talk about it at the moment, but we lack the tools to really allow us to pick out the right patients, predict success. From the patient perspective, they would all want to have the right treatment at the first time that they come. They don't want to feel that they have had an ineffective trial of treatment. And one of the problems with that is that if a patient has a therapy that doesn't work, you lose their trust and engagement in your care. And so if you fail at that first hurdle, it's quite difficult to get them back on board. So it, it not just does the best thing for the patient in front of you, it buys them into the pathway of what is otherwise a chronic disease that is likely to need a long-term patient-doctor relationship. And I think the greatest hurdle for all of us is working with the constraints of our healthcare systems that don't have enough money to meet the needs of all the patients. So we're going to need to be pragmatic in our approach and work out how we can deliver personalised medicine, who is most likely to benefit, um, and how we do that in a, in a sustainable manner. We, we need to meet the needs of our whole population as well and not bankrupt the systems that we're working in. So although it would be aspirational to offer personalised care at the first point of contact for all patients, in reality, we're probably not going to be able to do that right from the beginning. <laughs>